Although a number of methods exist, depreciation is generally calculated using one of three methods, straight line, declining balance, or units of activity. This video will discuss straight line, which is the most widely used method. Depreciation is the allocation of a plant's asset's cost to expense over its useful life. It simply distributes the cost of the asset over its useful life to properly match expenses with revenue. Let's assume a company purchases a delivery truck for $60,000. They expect to use it for the next six years to generate revenue. To keep it simple, we will assume it has no value at the end of its useful life. The company will recognize $10,000 of depreciation expense for the next six years. Depreciation applies to three classes of plant assets, land improvements, buildings, and equipment. Each of these classes is considered to be a depreciable asset because the usefulness to the company and the revenue producing ability of each class declines over the asset's useful life because of wear and tear and from obsolescence, which means an asset becomes out of date before it physically wears out. Depreciation does not apply to land. It is not a depreciable asset. Depreciation of a plant asset is based on three main factors. The first one is cost. Plant assets are recorded at cost in accordance with the cost principle. The second one is useful life. Useful life is an estimate of the expected productive life. We also refer to this as the service life. Useful life may be expressed in terms of time, units of activity, such as machine hours, or units of output. And lastly, salvage value, also referred to as residual value, and this is the estimate of the asset's value at the end of its useful life. Depreciation expense is reported on the income statement, whereas accumulated depreciation is reported on the balance sheet as a deduction from plant assets. Although a number of methods exist, depreciation is generally calculated using one of three methods, straight line, declining balance, or units of activity. Each of these methods is acceptable under GAAP. These methods work differently in how they derive the annual depreciation amount, but they all result in the same total depreciation over the total life of the asset. Once a method is chosen, it should be applied consistently over the life of the asset. Straight line is the most widely used method of depreciation. We will illustrate the three depreciation methods using this information. The first method we will cover is straight line. To calculate straight line depreciation, we need the cost, which is $13,000, the salvage value, which is $1,000, and the estimated life, which is five years. Under the straight line method, an equal amount or the same amount of depreciation expense is recorded each year. The formula for straight line depreciation is the cost minus the salvage value divided by the useful life in terms of years. Depreciable cost represents the total amount subject to depreciation. It is the cost of the plant asset less its salvage value. To compute the annual depreciation expense, we simply divide the depreciable cost by the estimated useful life. So in this example, we divide 12,000 by five years to arrive at a depreciation expense of $2,400. Another approach is to compute an annual rate. In this example, the rate is 20%, and this is found by dividing the useful life into one. The company applies this rate to the depreciable cost of $12,000 to arrive at depreciation expense of $2,400. The other approach simply divided the depreciable cost by five years. Accumulated depreciation 
is $2,400 and the book value is $10,600. And that is found by taking the cost of $13,000 and subtracting accumulated depreciation of $2,400. The journal entry to record depreciation expense results in a debit to depreciation expense and a credit to accumulated depreciation for the same amount. It is important to note the annual depreciation expense is the same amount each year, which is $2,400. Accumulated depreciation will increase and the book value will decrease by that amount each year. Lastly, the book value at the end of the useful life is equal to the salvage value of $1,000. If an asset is purchased during the year rather than on January 1st, the annual depreciation is prorated for the portion of the year it is used. In this example, Bill's Pizza purchases the delivery truck on April 1st. The company would use the truck for nine months. The depreciation would be $1,800, and that is calculated by taking the annual depreciation of $2,400 and multiplying that by 9 twelfths or 75%. Depreciation expense is the same amount or $2,400 for the next four years. The depreciation expense in the last year would be $600 and that is found by taking the annual depreciation of $2,400 and multiplying that by 3 twelfths. The solution to this exercise will be provided in another document.